What's going on YouTube? Just gonna show y'all how I send these wheels down and change the color on. Right now we just gonna change this silver color here to white. That's all he want to do. He want to leave the rest of this black and he want to do this white. So I'm gonna uh, speed it up for y'all a little bit and show y'all the results after I send them down and paint them. But it's pretty much just what I do here. Just get me a little piece of sandpaper. Sand them down real good. Right here, this is just 400 grit sandpaper. Usually take probably about maybe five, 10 minutes a wheel to sand them down real good. Make sure you get these little cracks here. They'll be the main part that would chip if it was too chip. So if you get them good like this, down in there real fine, you ain't gotta worry about that chipping issue. But if you don't, you might have some chipping. That's pretty much what I do to get my wheels sand it down and paint it. And then I'll tape up all the black. And uh, then paint all the silver. It's pretty simple. I mean, you just gotta be steady and don't take that sandpaper and let it touch this black because it'll be hard for you to get that back shining like it was. Besides using some compound or something like that, that'll help you. I'm gonna start doing these hot these how-to videos for y'all, cause a lot of people can save some money by doing some of this stuff they sell. And anything to save somebody money, I'm gonna let them know about it. And the how-tos on it. And I'm gonna be doing some upholstery videos as well. Uh, Cause I also do poster, painting body, a little bit of everything. Um, this got anything to do with a car, besides engine work and stuff like that. I don't mess with that. I got some people that can do it, but I don't get into it. Sand it up real good. You don't have to worry about nothing. The part that's the most slow with this is taping everything up. But I know y'all don't want to just sit here and watch me uh, sand all this down. So I'm gonna just do this one wheel and I'll cut it off and I'll bring you back on. Trick to it is trying to get all that shine off of it. That paint won't stick to that stuff. I usually just build me a little table and set it up just for these wheels. It's a whole lot easier to deal with than trying to do it on the ground. Especially tall. I'm 6'4". I can't be bending down the sand on these wheels. But it's pretty simple. Just as long as you're sanding pretty good and be careful, you'll be all right. Especially when you're doing this 
uh, two-tone. I do all the way up to a three-tone wheel. what you'll have once you sand it up. I know it's kind of hard to see it, but you can you can see what I'm going for. Sanding them down. So these I've been sanded. This one hasn't. And we're gonna take it, we're gonna switch it all to pearl white. It's gonna match the match the customer's car. Uh, basically what he has here is a 2013 Honda Accord. They're gonna go back on me. I'll show you the car. Now this is a customer's car. He's going to paint to match it. The wheel and the car to paint match. It's a pearl white. It's kind of hard to see right now. But I'll, I'll bring y'all back on once I start painting. All right, I'm back, YouTube. That's basically what I do. After sanding it down, I wipe it down with some alcohol. Make sure you get all the contaminants off the wheel, like armor all and different things that they may have sprayed on the wheels. You wipe it down real good, and then uh, get ready to tape it. Wipe around the area real good, but you're gonna spray. Everything else will be pretty much taped up. But you wipe all this down here. All around the corners and the edges and everything. Make sure you get it off pretty good. Everything is always in the prep work. Everything you do. I know y'all don't want to see me just wipe this down with alcohol. I'm just pretty much trying to show y'all all the steps it takes to get some paint on it. Turn y'all back on once I start the tape process. All right, YouTube. That's basically what I do when I start my taping process. I leave me a little gap so that paint will roll down the side and bond. I don't come all the way up to that edge. So you do it like this here, you'll be all right. And it's pretty simple. I usually get me thin and a roll of the thick one, 3M. And again, now you know I wipe this down with alcohol so you have no problems with any of the armor all and all that kind of stuff that would be left on the wheels. So you wipe that whole thing down with alcohol and you start taping everything up. And it's basically how I start it off. I'll cut you back on once I didn't get one all the way taped up. Back to YouTube. This when you get it all taped up and ready to go.
After you get it all taped up, the only thing left to do then is spray it. I'll cut you back on once it starts spraying. All right, I'm back, YouTube. This is what it looked like after I painted it. I'm gonna put one more coat on. I put two, but I'm gonna put one more. And that's gonna get me where I need to be. And then I'm, I can start unmasking it in about 30 minutes. That way the clear don't dry too hard for when you pull the tape off, it start chipping. So you always wanna wait and let it dry for a little and be easy trying to take that uh, tape off. And once you take the tape off, like I said, it'll stop you from chipping. If you wait too long, now you're going to chip. All right, I'll cut you back on once I finish uh, putting this next coat on. And then I'm going to uh, wait about 30 minutes and I'm going to start unmasking. All right, I'm back, YouTube. This is after my last coat. So in all, I put four coats on it. Can't really see exactly what it looked like right now because it still got all this tape on it. But once I take all this tape off, I'll show y'all the finished result. Thanks again for watching, YouTube. Appreciate it. All right, I'm back, YouTube. This is after I took the tape off. Right now I'm doing my cleanup because you do get a little overspray through the tape sometimes. It just finds its way through. And basically what I usually have is a little paint like, say like this right here. And basically all I do is take a little reducer and I make put me a little cloth around uh, a little paint stick like this. So to get in them tight spots and I put a little reducer on it. clean that stuff off let me show you what I do basically this all the all this is is my paint reducer that's all it is now I pull I pull it on my stick I walk around the wheel find the little over spray spots because there's gonna be some I don't care what you do uh, and I take and I go down into the little sides see there you got some right there watch how it comes right off you get it done before it uh, starts drying and stuff like that. It, it comes off a little quicker and a little easier without no real hard labor. Just rubbing it. We got some up in here in this side. Yeah, if you can see it, zoom in right there. See that? And I come through and I wipe all the little overspray off. The spots on the wheel and I just look over it a little bit like I said if you miss a spot or two it ain't no problem you can go right back and hit it so you get right into them little spots like that that's what I usually do to clean mine off but uh the, the finish result ain't bad like I said that's a pearl it's got the pearl in it. I don't know if you can really see it or not. But you can see these little spots here. I go through and I wipe all those off. Yeah, you do that with that 
paint stick, you can you can get that stuff off a whole lot easier than trying to get your fingers down in there. And me, my fingers be big. It's hard to get them down in little tight spots on them wheels. Like I said, that's all you do, YouTube. Go through and wipe everything down. And like I said, all you got to do is Put a little reducer on that cloth, take a little piece of cloth, wrap it around that paint stick, and uh, it'll help you get into them little tight spots. Make things a whole lot easier for you. But the overall uh, result, it's not bad at all. Like I said, especially for a day process, I actually did these in a day. Um, a lot of people won't do them that quick. I mean, I did these in a day for the guy. He needed it back. I think this is only a means of transportation. But, uh, like I said, that's how I do it. And uh, if you like, subscribe. And I have more videos like this for y'all. And like I said, I'm going to start doing some of the upholstery videos as well. Um, that way we can get some people to start saving some money for themselves. You know, do some of this stuff they sell. Like I said, a lot of the tools and equipment and stuff like that that you use, it's not real, really that expensive. You can actually find some lower end stuff to produce some good work. Like I said, now it ain't gonna be the best work, but you find some stuff that'll that'll do and uh be uh be be pretty good job for you. Like I said, it ain't gonna really be the best thing out here. But sometimes, you know, stuff comes out a lot better than you think it would using the cheaper lower end stuff. Because me, I always use those cheaper little Harper Freak guns for the paint, these wheels and stuff like that. And that's what I use. And uh, like I said, they pretty low, low end guns, but like I said, they do pretty good. You know, like I said, your clean up and your, your prep is everything anytime you do this stuff here. But uh, that's our finished result on it right there, YouTube. And uh, I'll put some more videos up like this for you. If you got anything you want me to do and uh, show you how to do it, uh, I'll do that as well. Um, I'll give you my number or whatever. And uh, I can show you how to do wheels. Uh, like I said, some upholstery stuff. Uh, how to make something out of nothing, man, for... for uh, these seats and stuff to go on these party buses and all that kind of stuff because I do build the party buses and stuff as well. But, all right, YouTube, man, y'all take care, man. And uh, if y'all like, subscribe, and hit me up in the comment section and let me know if you need anything done. All right, I'm back, YouTube. This is the finished product. look pretty good like subscribe thank you youtube